This is a startup of the Savannah Stoker version 5 with the uh, new integrated uh, startup procedure to prevent overshoot on startup. Now this is my Blazing Grill Works gridiron with a uh, well I've replaced the 3 RPM auger motor with the 2 RPM auger motor. And all we're going to do is see if what kind of startup we get with factory settings, right out of the box settings in this here, and see if it comes up and does not overshoot on startup. So all I'm going to do is press the power on button, and that's it. Uh, the feature of the startup procedure is like the alternate start procedure that I've been using for years and a lot of people are now using. And it limits the amount of pellet feed up until a certain temperature. So default setting is it takes 25% and adds it to the OUT low, output low and holds that restricted to no more than that until 145 degrees. And after that, it goes back to auto mode. So we'll just see, right out of the box, how this runs and starts up with an overshoot. Now this would be the same auger, it's not the same auger motor because this is a bigger grill with a, so it's a larger auger motor, but it's a two RPM auger motor like the Pit Boss. By the way, this is with the empty, cleaned out pellet, you know, not the pellet box, I'm sorry, the fire pot and the grill. So, normally if you did a start and shut down the next startup, there'd be some pellets down there because that's what the man stoker does. We can go and see what it, it's restricted to. You see, it's restricted to 40% of the cycle time. Algeron is restricted 40%. It can go less than that, but it can't go over that until it hits 145. I should have put some pellets in there. I usually put them you know, half a handful of pellets in the fire part on start, start up, but I didn't on this one. Oh, by the way, these two parameters, as all parameters, are user-adjustable, so you can adjust this to your pellet grill, its components and how they're operating, and the environment. Well, we have ignition because I can smell some smoke. We're just not getting a lot of smoke yet. We have a little bit, so we do have ignition.
And as you can see, we don't have all that building smoke and everything else on a normal startup when you have a lot of overshoot. Alright, coming up on 180. Let's see how much overshoot. And any overshoot, of course, we can adjust out because all the parameters are adjustable. That's the all ground percent. You see, that's a default 15. This grill would usually be running around OUT low of all about 11 or 12, so that might even be too high. It might not stay there. Which is okay. That shows there's no big overshoot on startup. Yeah, it's coming back. So we got four degrees out of the box setting, four degrees overshoot, four. And you all have a fine barbecue and